now. I want to show you this wheel here. I want you to see how offset that thing is. So anyway, I think I got it a little too uh, too much offset. And then a little problem with my hopper design. It doesn't want to empty all the sand. But overall, it's working pretty well. Anyway. Oh, now you can see my beautiful mug. <laughs> well, old stud walker out in the shop here. Uh, as you see, I can see I got that trapeze guy working well, a little bit. I mean, it's not great, but it, I'm getting there. Anyway. I think the whole hardest part of these uh, sand toys is so far is making that wheel. Uh, so I wanted to show you how I made that wheel. It's not too complicated and I'm sure it's probably not the best way of doing it. But uh, I'll show you the way that I've been doing it. So anyway, let's take a look over here. Well, I, I cut out uh, two circles about three and a half inches across. And uh, I got this half inch piece of dowel. It's about seven eighths of an inch long and it's got a sixteenth inch hole drilled through it. And I took uh, some paper, this regular old paper, and I cut a seven eighth, uh, a strip seven eighths of an inch uh, wide. And I cut two of them actually and glued them together and uh, and then I just started to uh, bend it in different uh, I tried to vary it because on this trapeze artist you don't want it to do the same thing all the time you want to have a bunch, bunch of variations so anyway I made the wedges all different sizes like that and uh, I got my, <clears throat> let's see, let's see it. there's two holes, one's a big hole, that's, I'm going to use the big hole, it's a little bit offset, not as much as the, the one I just showed you, I'll make it a, not quite as big an offset, anyway, what I would do, would start off with a, a drop of super glue on there, And just glue it to the paper. I like to take a, a 16th inch piece of brazing rod and stick it in there like so, so I know exactly where to put this. All right, and then just hold that on there for a little bit. And you gotta uh, place this on here and, and start thinking about where you're gonna put it. You wanna kinda <laughs> do a preliminary fitting here. I think I'm gonna start with this big one first. And what I'm gonna do is just put put a little bit of glue on there and spread it around with a toothpick. So I got my let's see if I can do this. Take a little bit of glue. Just spread it with the toothpick real quick. And then, I think I might go the other side. I'm going to make this a little bit skinny. Not like that. 
that. Be careful with the hot glue. <laughs> so then I think I'll turn it. And we'll start here. That wedge looks a little bit wide. Getting the hot glue on me. Hey, oh, yow. Now we'll put the other one on there. I'll just make a little hole, just a little offset, like the other one. Basically it. A little quality control. much as that old one. Anyway, that's basically how I put that wheel together. It doesn't look very pretty, but it's fairly quick. And I think it'll be alright. Seems to 
not like there's huge stresses on it. Alright, that's all I got for now. I'll see you down the trail.